Hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, today I'm here and uh, I can see so many eager faces waiting to find out what story I'm going to tell you. And I would love if all of you become children for just a few minutes and travel with me through this story. And this is a story from which I read long back from Young World Hindu publication. It's based so I just built upon it. And so are you all ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it was a Sunday afternoon and the family was sitting in the living room after a sumptuous dinner and they were all relaxing. And suddenly out of the blue, grandpa makes an announcement. And you know what it is? I'm going to buy a cow and a calf today. And the whole, if all the members of the family were stunned into silence. There was a long silence. They all knew grandpa's fancy for cows and calves, but never thought he was so serious about it. And then grandma, she opened her mouth and said, what? Are you out of your senses? We are living in a flat on the third floor and even keeping a dog is out of question. And you say you're going to buy a cow and a calf? But grandpa was in his own world. He had no ears for anyone. He said, guys, just imagine, imagine the sweet smell of hay the soulful dewy eyes of the cow, the sticky rubbery nose and the warm sweet milk. Just imagine. You, you imagine the pile of dungs and flies and the caterpillars and the centipedes and the angry neighbors. Can you imagine that? Retorted grandma. And grandpa was still in his own world and he went into a burst shop. Imagine, imagine, imagine a bouncy frisky calf. Imagine wagging its tail, wagging, wagging, wagging its tail and rushing to you when you come home tired. And Suddenly, all of them thought really he was out of his senses. Is he thinking of a dog wagging? Or is he thinking of a cow and a calf? And they were all whispering among themselves. And then he heard the whispers and he said, Hey, you guys, you don't know how a happy calf responds to the love and affection of people. You really do not know. And then his grandson, Ashwin, came to him and said, asked, Tata, really? Does a cow, does it bounce and frisk and wag its tail? And Grandpa looked at all the family members with hurt in his eyes as if they were to blame. He said, look, this boy has not seen a bouncy, frisky calf wagging its tail till now. And he called his uncle Ashwin to him and said, little boy, don't think all the calves are skinny and half dead like you see in the lanes of this city. Here they are not cared for, they are not fed, and they live drinking the water from the drains. But these, there are the frisky bronzy calves which we had in the villages long back. Don't you remember? He asked Grandma. She was really furious and she was just trying to control her temper. And you know why these calves are like that? Because we drink all the milk before they can have any, and they don't get any milk. Ashwin's eyes filled with tears, and he said, Grandpa, I will not drink milk anymore from now on. And now Grandma couldn't control her temper. She said, enough is enough. This is the only thing the boy drinks without making a fuss and now you have put a full stop to this. And grandpa said, no dear, no. I want him to drink the milk from the cow whom we take care of, give love and affection. And from the cow 
which feeds its little ones first and then gives us the milk. I want him to relish that. That is what I want. And you know, Ashwin, you know how blissful it is to just keep your head on the belly of a sleeping cow. It's so blissful. Now Ashwin's eyes lit up and he said, Grandpa, really? Can I feed grass to the cow and the calf? And can we keep the cows and the calves here? And Grandpa said, of course, why not? And the family members again got really, this is becoming too much. And Grandma was very angry and she walked away in a huff. And then in the, these members, the family was suddenly imagining a big mammoth animal in the hall, in the living room, and just trying the process of sitting down, damaging all the furniture and the calf with its mischievous eyes, toppling the television set and nibbling at the cables of the telephone wires. And they were really wondering. And in the meantime, one person left the room to inform the association, flat association, this is going on. Because they didn't know what are they. And there was an immediate emergency meeting called for by the executives of the residents association and in the evening, they all came angrily marching in. And they said, what's this we hear? Is it true that you're going to have a cow and a calf here? What nonsense is this? Do you think you can have it in the apartment? Don't you know that a cow moves and moves and moves and moves and it echoes all around? And you're not permitted to have any such creatures here. Grandpa was angry with rage. His face went red. And he stamped his foot and he said, you wait and see people. And you know what happened? The same day, he bought a cow and he bought a calf. And he kept it in his rented garage at the far end of the building. And now every day, most of the time is spent by grandpa in the garage with the cow and the calf. And it's a wonderful sight in the afternoon to see them napping together. And you know, each and every child in the building after school rushes to the garage and you can see the happy sounds. Oh, dear grandpa, dear grandpa has a shed and in that shed he has a cow and he has a cow with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Our dear grandpa has a shed. Here 